Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Meta. In fact, this is the first episode of Meta that I'm shooting after the coronavirus. So it's a post-coronavirus world and all of a sudden, digital universities like ours have just taken off. Right? And I'm going to take off the mask. That was the cue for the mask take off. Uh, but the point is that, you know, suddenly it's become super serious to, to take online learning seriously. And for a platform like ours that provides digital skills for free, it's just been a boon, right? It's, we always knew the world would go there. We, we had the conviction that the world is eventually going to go fully digital. Uh, but I guess a little virus came and accelerated all of it. So that being said, you know, we are now about to enter, I mean, a lot of you have learned a lot of stuff, right? Some of you have learned design, some of you have learned marketing, some of you have learned finance. If you're here, it means you are ready to learn one of the most complex, one of the most difficult platforms in the digital space right now. Unreal Engine, you know, it's been built for a very, very, very long time. And its original intention was to make simple games, but now you can do a lot of stuff with the engine. You can build games, you can create experiences for other people, which need not be a game. You can create apps, that's right, you can actually create apps using Unreal 2. You can create uh, movies and visual effects, right? So you can use Unreal Engine as a renderer. So you can do so many wonderful, wonderful things with the engine. And the reason we picked Unreal Engine for game design over Unity was simply because the Unreal Engine is far more powerful, um, in my opinion, at least I've tried both the engines. And it's just, it's so beautiful. You can see some of those results of the Unreal Engine in Fortnite, right? So Epic Games, which is the company behind Fortnite, is also the same company behind the Unreal Engine. Although the Unreal Engine predates Fortnite by almost a little more than a decade. So, how do we begin learning, right? And, you know, is it even possible to learn such a powerful, such a complex engine alone? Right? So that's the question that I'm sure a lot of you have on your minds. And in this video, I'm going to run you through the same thing that I ran you through when we did Photoshop, which is how do you learn or how do you position your brain to learn something like the Unreal Engine? You see, it's different to learn the engine versus it is to learn maybe a Photoshop or, a, or a Excel. The reason is Unreal is so vast and so huge that even the developers of Unreal don't know what its components are. Right? In fact, it's only the team and the shared knowledge of the team where you can actually map the breadth and the scope of Unreal Engine. Otherwise, it's, it's an impossibility. So for you to think that you can jump into Unreal, learn concept one, concept two, three, four, whatever, all the way to, till the end, uh, that's not possible, right? Because there are just so many concepts and then there is so much depth. So what we're going to do is something strange, right? What we're going to do is we're going to learn the parts of Unreal that we need to perform some sort of goal, right? So we're going to have a goal in mind to make a sort of game and then use the parts of Unreal that we need to make the game and just ignore the rest of the parts. Now you might think, well, then I'm not master at the engine. Well, here's something that you need to face right now. It's very difficult to become a master at the Unreal Engine. And even if you do, it will only come after you make 10 or 15 games. It is going to take you a decade at minimum, right? And probably even longer. So let's not even think about that. And that's not the right goal to have because if you have a goal of mastery over the Unreal Engine right now, you are not going to get there, right? And in fact, it, it's more discouraging than anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn the parts of the engine that you will use in 80% of the games out there, right? So the most important parts that are repeated across every game, uh, whether it be animations or, you know, blueprints, those sort of things, and leave some of the extras or some of the parts of Unreal we don't need for some other time. Now, you know, when we made Meta, our idea was to keep the education part free, right? We always said we'll monetize off competitiveness or of the team play. So one suggestion that I have, right, is that if you're learning Unreal, consider enrolling in the Unreal mentorships, the Unreal college that we have. And the reason I say this is because learning alone is fine and, you know, you might be able to get to a certain distance. But with the mentorships, the way we've structured it is that we put you in teams and then you work very closely and intimately with a mentor. So it's when you get stuck and you are going to get stuck with Unreal, right? With a lot of small issues that you probably can't even fathom right now. So when you get stuck, it's it's a little easier when you have a team with you and when you have a mentor with you. Also, one of the interesting things you need to know about 
game design in general is when you're making a game, your first game is most likely going to be just a demo that flops. Very few people make it, make it successful in their first game or their first visual effects project. So it's a good idea to spend and, and we mapped out almost a year for you to learn the engine, right? It's, we go quite, we start off simple, but then go quite into depth and you're doing it with a team. So the output over a year with you and three other people putting out a game of your own, nothing beats that experience, right? And this is like, as much as people are still concerned about online college, this is with Meta, it is one of the most serious, most, um, you know, you've got the best tutors, you've got the best environment and you've got the most driven community, which is what college should always have been about. So if you're choosing between traditional college or some sort of tuition center or whatever it is versus Meta versus the Meta Digital College, choose the Meta Digital College, right? Because it's just, we, we're doing our level best. We've got the best people in house. Um, and you know, the way we mapped out and the learnings that we've had from online education, we get the output, right? So it's good if you guys join the mentorships, but you don't have to, if you don't want to, uh, that's okay. And even if you do, you still have to go through the course content, the free course content, the unreal course content that I'm putting out. So, uh, catch you in the next episode where we learn how to learn the unreal engine. Bye. -bye.